Hello, so you're in the kitchen with Tanya again, and I'm going to show you how to make a dressing. This dressing, let's just call it um, sweet and sour mango, but it tastes kind of like Thousand Island with a little kick. It has no fat, no salt, no preservatives, just clean eating. And I really, I mean, you can always make a good dressing with an avocado or nut base, but to me, the real healing is in low fat. So here's what's in it. I've already... Um, Got the stuff in the bowl so you don't have to watch me chop. You know how to chop. So we have our Vitamix. Okay, or you need a high speed blender. I have had an Omni Pro before. I've had a KitchenAid. All of those will work for a dressing. So don't think you have to buy a $500 blender. Okay, so here's what we have. We have a carrot. Okay, then we have um, two stalks of celery because that is a little bit of thickness um, and sweetness in the carrot. Salty. Um, in the celery, so let's dump that in, okay? Then, for some more sweetness and a little kick, I've got two stalks of um, green onion, and then I've got one mango already cut up off the, off the seed. Let's put that in there, okay? This is about half of a lemon squeezed, and then we have about one teaspoon of spicy, no, it's lemon pepper Mrs. Dash. I use Mrs. Dash in all kinds of stuff because there's no salt. It's just, they have a good blend of things. They have um, the cayenne pepper one. They have extra spicy. They have lime fiesta. But this lemon pepper one, I use in all kinds of stuff. So I dump that in. Okay. And then if I had more cherry tomatoes on hand, I would use those. I would use about two full handfuls. But I didn't, and I wanted to show you this recipe. So this is one can of no salt diced tomatoes no salt no nothing it had a little bit of lemon juice for preservative and it's tomatoes so here again a backup plan don't think you failed because you didn't have your cherry tomatoes maybe you didn't have five bucks and that's how much they were in the store so get these instead so you put those in there and that gives a little liquid too now if you use the cherry tomatoes instead put a little bit of water to your consistency but then you don't even need to put the tamper on this so you put on your top, and you're just going to blend it on medium until it's smooth. Now, I usually put my dressings in these. These are, um, I believe the brand's cuts them, but it's that juice I drink, pineapple juice and different things. And after I drink it, I save them, I wash them up, and then I put my dressing in it. This is what the dressing looks like. It's got a really good texture to it. I'll show you if I can get some out. It's thick. You can have, see? It's good. You can have have it a little bit thicker and do more like sauce up some zucchinis for chips and dip them in there. You can use this for just all kinds of stuff. On It's really good on butter leaf lettuce. That's my favorite. But you blend all that up and then you have your dressing. You have no fat. You can pretty much eat the whole jar and you're, it's, it's guilt free, you know. So try it. You'll like it. Thanks.